name is Gary Wong. I'm from Aspac Developments. Thank you to all who came tonight and hopefully uh, people will learn a little, little bit about River Green. Uh, we uh, welcome everybody here and uh, very uh, appreciative that we can do our part to help the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. This event at this place is really great and we, make, we meet with great people, a good train, music playing, people greeting and uh, it's really helpful. Uh, we make friends and we build up connections. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> Uh, this is a wonderful event. It's a great way to get businesses to meet other businesses, uh, people to get meet other people, and it really helps the business community in Richmond. Uh, great that ASPAC has decided to host the event, and great on the Richmond Chamber of Commerce for doing it and recognizing the importance of networking. Thank you. Uh, we're here at River Green. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. Uh, just to let you know, this networking event is unreal. Um, what I've gotten out of this networking event is meeting new people, as uh, expanding my database and my business, uh, because I do business by referrals. So if you haven't come here, please come down and join us. Um, you'll you know, expand your business and meet a lot of great new people. Uh, this is just a wonderful event to attend. Uh, to be a member of the Chamber of Commerce has many benefits, and one of those benefits is all the networking opportunities. Uh, to be here and present at such a wonderful event and to see what uh, ASPAC has laid out for us, everyone should take the opportunity to attend if they can. Uh, you know, there's so many great people to meet here this afternoon and it's just a wonderful time. Great weather and great company. Thank you. It's a great event. It's an incre I'm an architect actually uh, background, so this is incredible. Um, it's a great design and um, well, the event, the people you get to meet here, they're really nice people, it's really easy going, so yeah, it's a great event. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance uh, here this evening. My name is Craig Jones, I'm the Executive Director of the Chamber, and I'd like to welcome you all on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Chamber and our staff to uh, a wonderful Business After Five. Tonight, uh, we're at the lovely River Green, uh, a development uh, put together by Aspect Development that's going to transform the waterfront here in Richmond and the vision. Um, Richmond, for those that are residents here, we've always kind of looked inward uh, in, into our community. Um, with the wonderful dike system that we have and the access to the water, we're given the opportunity now to allow us to look outward. And this is the premier development that we have in our new community. Um, we have the Olympic Oval just behind us. We have the airport uh, just to the west of us here. And the setting is, um, I think, the finest setting that we have in the Lower Mainland. And we're going to get an opportunity to um, hear a little bit about this development. And I want to thank everybody for being here and uh, to thank um, Aspect and, uh, and their team for hosting us this evening. And at this time, what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring George Wong of um, Magnum Projects, which is the sales and marketing arm responsible for the uh, promotion of this facility to come forth and tell us a little bit about what their vision and where this is going and uh, I'd like you to give him a, a warm welcome. So George Wong, are you here? I am here. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. the w welcome is very warm and especially with the sun. It is sunnier in Richmond. Uh, I just came here from downtown Vancouver. It was uh, over overcast uh, and uh, one of the um, before I get into River Green on behalf of Aspect and Gary Wong here, is um, uh, lifespan is longer in Richmond of all the lower mainland, mainland areas, and that's uh, that's a great thing to be. That's a happy statistic, and I want to share more happy statistics with you. Obviously, sunnier days in Richmond, which you all know, and I want to you know uh, compliment what Craig and his uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce does in terms of uh, propelling Richmond on the world scale and the world stage in terms of uh, putting Richmond in front of uh, you know, lower mainland cities. Uh, I understand from him that uh, a new sister city has been established uh, association with Xiamen of China and that I'm not sure if I'm stealing your thunder when I announce that but I thought this is, this is really great and Craig is definitely the right ambassador to put Richmond uh, even further on the map and it is. Talking about you know, getting on the map obviously with the Olympics last year, uh, Richmond uh, hit the global stage uh, with the events 
and um, in a sort of a, a filter through scale, River Green came to the market in July of 2010, uh, right on the heels of the Olympics. And uh, what uh, it managed to accomplish, which is uh, hats off to Aspac's vision, and uh, you know anybody who has seen the uh, the uh, the context model or the big model over there, which shows the realm of this community. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, you know I'm just very proud to be associated with this uh, project of this caliber and, and significance. And what I mean by significance is we're getting a lot of uh, inquiries and uh, curiosity and interest from lawyers, developers, architects, and urban planners from all over the world. We just had a group from North Carolina, lawyers from North Carolina, uh, fourth year uh, law students coming here, and they wanted to fi find out how the legal system works in, in a big community like this. There's public, there's private, you know, uh, sort of uh, uh, co-work processes. So, in, in, a, in, a, in a way, which is what uh, Craig and, and his uh, Chamber of Commerce has been doing, is to put Richmond on the map. And uh, another interesting stat I'd like to share with you, which is in the vision of Chamber of Commerce and the members of the Chamber of Commerce, is, is to look outside, is to invite business investments. And what Craig does is to, is to woo or uh, uh, entice you know, capital to come to, uh, and, and commerce and business entities to come to Richmond. Um, over 50% of the buyers so far, and we've moved close to 300 million in real estate just in phase one. And that's a big statement for, uh, for Richmond. And you know what that does? That means more residents for Richmond, more spending power for Richmond businesses, more people buying raspberries, more people going to uh, TD Canada Trust, and so on, so on, so forth uh, in Richmond. So that's, that's a real good thing. Um, so, you know, uh, Mr. Raymond Lee from, uh, from ASPEC asked me to say this on, on behalf of ASPEC, and that is um, he built this center, this almost 30,000 square feet center, not just for River Green and to, and to demonstrate to the world how great this part of Richmond is, but it's, a, it's an amenity and it's a facility and venue that everybody, that has an interest in Richmond, i.e. merchants like yourselves, uh, could use. I know the city of Richmond has used this. Uh, Craig from the chamber has used this quite a few times. So uh, it's an open invitation. Um, I think that's, I'm going to end with that uh, and wish you a very good evening and uh, mingle. Uh, commerce is done by interchange, interaction, doing business, ideas spark. Um, and I was very encouraged to hear that the Canada Line ridership, uh, it's almost 30% uh, about the, uh, the projections already. So and that's another great thing to know. Um, I know that a lot of people that are uh, talking about real estate, which is something very hard for me to not talk about. Um, there are a number of uh, real estate offerings uh, outside of River Green and Richmond that have done exceedingly well in the past 12 months. And, uh, and that bodes well for, again, you know, uh, the tax base, business permits, population, there's demand for businesses. And uh, that I can't think of uh, another municipality in the Lower Mainland that, uh, that, uh, that can boast that. So hats off to all of you who are doing business in, in, uh, in Richmond and enjoy your evening. And uh, if some of you uh, are so inclined, uh, the sunset, which will happen in about two and a half hours, are gorgeous. So enjoy the food and the bubblies, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Oh, there'll be, there'll be a little uh, uh, a token of uh, appreciation for you uh, when you leave uh, from Aspect Developments. And have a good night. Thank you very much, George. Um, uh, just in recognition, uh, Gary Wong, just give us a big wave. Uh, Gary, thank you very much for your supports, and Gary is uh, very instrumental in why we're here this evening. Um, there's two people here, if you're interested in a little bit more about uh, the, uh, the uh, sales aspect of it, is uh, we have Lily and Wilson are both here in their hands. There they are. If you've got any questions, please direct them at them. Um, in closing, I want you to say, please enjoy yourself. Um, 
think about uh, this wonderful evening, this beautiful sunset. Uh, and uh, before I go, though, uh, a big round of applause for our new chair of the Richmond Chamber of Commerce uh, that just uh, came in today, Lisa Wong, who's sitting back over here. Welcome, Lisa, and we look forward to a wonderful year. So ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Chamber, thank you very much. Mingle, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you at the next Business After Five or the next event coming up in the Chamber. Thank you.